guys. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I'm currently rolling out my feet. I use a frozen lacrosse ball. I am gonna go for a run. Thursday, I wanted to film a week in my life, but all week I was just like, not in the mood to talk. <laughs> like I would think about like waking up, turning on my camera and I'm like, no, like I just don't wanna talk. So um, I think I'm gonna do like a day in my life and then maybe tomorrow morning too, cause I'm going to stride tomorrow morning. But today will be a good day regardless. So we're gonna do a day in my life today. Going for a run in a little bit. Um, I think it's up to 50 minutes today. So it's kind of a longer run. And it's gonna be funny when I get even longer my runs and I look back on this and be like, and I thought that was long. Up to 50 minutes, nice and easy. I don't have anywhere to be today other than I just have to podcast today. I have been waking up with like so much on my mind lately and I really need to journal this morning before my run and then on my run, I have a feeling I will just get a lot of clarity about a lot of things. I don't even know like what I'm gonna journal about. Like it'll kind of flow to me as I do it but I just keep waking up with so much, so much thoughts in my brain that I just need to kind of work through it. I'm gonna eat a muffin while I roll out my feet. Actually gets angry with me Actually. that I can't have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just disgusted that you, felt really good. I feel like I have really clear direction. Um, and I'm really happy I did that. And I have a feeling this would happen where I just don't want to go on my run now. And I just want to like work through this idea, but I know that the run will probably spark more ideas and also wake me up a little bit more. I'm like so tired. If I have a cup of coffee to wake up though, I'm just going to be too full in the stomach. You know what I mean? Too much going on. So um, I just need to go do it and just feel better. The fact that it's 50 minutes is just a little daunting. Okay, let's just go do it. I also downloaded a new book. It's called 4,000 Weeks. It's about productivity and time management. And that'll be good to listen to on my run. You can like hear my voice. It's 9.15. I'm like so tired of my voice. Where am I going to run is the question. See when I get back and I'm going to be so happy that I did it. Oh done i'm so glad i did that run it always feels good i just like poked myself in the eye now i can't see out of my eye yeah that was 50 minutes i came out to like 4.6 miles definitely like when i turned around it like once i from minute like 25 to like 30 those were a tough five minutes i was like man like i just felt like kind of far out you know what i mean and I like staying close to like centralized, like wherever I am. First half, I felt really, really good, like really strong. Um, the second half, definitely just getting like, once you get over that 30 minute hump, it gets easier. I also decided that when I run this summer, I'm always gonna jump in the ocean afterwards because all I wanna do is like be like submerged in water when I run. I'm like the sweatiest person alive. Like. How, how do girls like look so cute after runs? Because I never do. Yeah, it was, a, it was a really good run. I'm glad that I did it. I always am. I'm always glad that I do it. And it always feels good. And I always like posting about it on Instagram. It kind of just holds me accountable. There's nothing better than a shower. I'm gonna have my green juice. Oh, yes. I got a Revolve package today that I definitely wanna do a try on haul for. I do green powder. Um, this is AG1, vitamin D3 and K2. Came with my AG1. So I do a drop of that, and then I always do a green powder. Today I use Bloom. I switch off between Bloom and AG1. I typically use AG1 by Athletic Greens before my runs, if I have like ample time. And I try to do it before my long runs. Technically today was like a long run. Eight ounces of water, and then I froth it. In a perfect world, I would drink this before um, I have any food, but I ate that muffin today before I went for my run. I don't always chug it, but today I did. <laughs> and then for breakfast, I made these overnight oats on Monday night, and they're really good. In my overnight oats, I 
did a little concoction to help with protein and digestion. So for my overnight oats, I put in here this prebiotic powder, which I'll show you which one it is in a minute. I put in a prebiotic powder and I mix that with chia seeds and water and I kind of let that blend all together. Then I add in half a cup of oats, third cup of vanilla Greek yogurt, one scoop of protein powder, cinnamon, blueberries. I think that's it. I didn't put in any like, oh, and peanut butter. I didn't put in any sweetener because of the vanilla Greek yogurt and the protein powder. So this is the prebiotic powder that I mixed with chia seeds. So that's what my overnight oats look like. They're so thick. Oh, and I put in oat milk with them. And I just try to get a lot of fiber. So yeah, now my breakfast is done. I love making overnight oats, it's so easy. I made four at a time so that I had them for the whole week because I made them Monday night. There's my oats. It looks dry, you could put like oat milk in it, but I don't mind it. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. I think a new episode of Vanderpump Rules came out. I'm trying to be more intentional with my content after I wrote my journal entry this morning. So I should put that into practice right now. All right, I just scripted out today's podcast episode. I feel like I should like look a little bit better before going on the internet. It's always a good idea making like a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something like before a podcast episode, but like actually it's not because I don't have the time to actually drink it because I just, like I'm talking the whole time. So in theory, it never really works out how I think it will, but I just need like something warm to hold my hands on. Exactly what I mean. Like none of my teas drank, so I'm just gonna heat it back up. All right, let's have lunch. Hello? So Tim, is there no on this thing? Okay, I'm not gonna put this back in the microwave. It was like popping. One time I short-circuited my parents' house putting metal in the microwave. They were like so not happy with me. For lunch, I'm gonna have eggs, toast, like breakfast pretty much. My God, now this is a lunch. Those are two pieces of sourdough, a little soft scramble action, avocado, pickled onions, hot honey. Okay, you guys, I wanna show you what I got from Revolve. I'm so excited. I'm actually packing right now to go down to Sea Isle for the weekend. You know, I stepped out of my comfort zone. I got a lot of colors. I got really, really cute things, and I'm gonna link everything down below that I got from Revolve, but I'm like so excited for spring. And honestly, like just real quick, real talk, I'm so over trends and I'm not following them. And the reason why is because I don't feel pretty in the trends. Like I just don't. So I chose pieces that would make me feel pretty and very girly, which is how I used to dress and how I always felt the best. And then I like stopped that to try and fit in and I just don't feel good. So I purchased pieces that I knew for the spring that I would want to wear that made me feel really pretty and girly and feminine. And I'm so excited to show you guys everything. So first, I just got some more thongs. I feel like I always need underwear, so I always just buy a bunch of underwear. I got so many jumpsuits. So like this is the first one. I saw Katie Bellotti post that she got a denim jumpsuit. And since then, I've been wanting one. This one is gorgeous. It's from um, Lovers and Friend. I think I'm going to bring this down with me this weekend to the beach and some black boots that I have down there. And like this will be an outfit option. So I'm going to bring this down with me. I got this long sleeve button down romper. So it's short on the bottom. And if you just like unbutton this, it will look so, so cute. I think this with like a denim jacket and like a denim purse would be such a moment. Oh, also really quickly, let me show you the shoes. I've been obsessed with wedges. I was watching Love Island and Mackenzie was, watch, was wearing um, wedges. And I was like, honestly, they are so flattering. Like, why did I stop wearing wedges? Probably because the kids started saying that they were chuggy. But I was like, I'm going to get a pair of wedges for the summer especially. So I'm planning on like living in these and I'm really excited. But then I also got these. I think they're from, oh no, they're not from the same brand. But they look similar. And these are just like chunky, really cute, beachy, summery shoes. And I'm so excited for these. They're nude, but they're not like formal wear. They're like very beachy. So um, I feel like even these shoes would look really good with 
this. So I'm really excited. I'm not going to bring this down this weekend because it's still a little cold for my legs to be out. But I'm so excited to wear this in the spring. So I definitely got a lot of jumpsuits. And this one is next. It is so cute. Um, so it's just this long white jumpsuit. And every year we do this one party on a boat. And it's like a white party. So I want to wear this this year for the white party. And the back is just like very open and very lacy. So it's really, really pretty. I'm so excited to wear this. This is a long pink dress. And it's almost like velvety almost. And it has a slit right here in the leg and it's just stunning and the back is open so i just feel like this one's going to be really really nice for the summertime as well i'm very excited for this one okay this dress is such a moment and like i need to go out somewhere and wear this immediately because i'm obsessed with this color so it's just this gorgeous dress and it comes like a little midi and it has a slit and it has these really pretty cutouts i'm so obsessed i cannot wait to wear this dress like i just know it's going to be stunning and then we have this dress and i'm i think i'm gonna bring this dress with me this weekend and it's just a tube dress and it's like sweater material with a little slit but I think, look at my socks, like, are you kidding? Um, but I think I'm gonna wear this with black tights and a leather jacket and just like black booties and really like make this winter for this weekend. But this in the summertime with like a bikini and then you just throw this on and go to like a happy hour is perfect and it's so cute you can make this really really casual just throw over like a big denim jacket and like sneakers or you can dress it up like what i'm gonna do this weekend i'm so excited for this okay on to tops so i got this one which is really cute just like a basic tee and i always need like not too cropped tanks and i never have any so i wanted to stock up on them i also got one in this white color and i might wear this down to the beach with like the leather jacket over top of it so that i don't have to pack the leather jacket but how cute right okay this i'm living for i just wanted to be fun and pink and girly and like this screams that um i'm really excited i also got this mini skirt and I just have a vision of like living out like this dream that I had when I was like, I don't know, a little girl of just being like the ultimate teenager pop princess. Like that is so it. Um, this is a mini skirt. It's girlfriend and I am so excited to wear this. I definitely want to be wearing skirts and dresses this summer and not as much shorts. I just don't really like shorts on me, but this and also like wedges. Like, come on, like that is girly and like that's what I like to wear and I need to just like wear what I like to wear because that's what makes me feel good when I'm wearing clothes that I actually like to wear. So I'm so excited to wear this. I'm not going to bring it this weekend, but it's definitely going to have its moment. Okay, this I think is so cute. Also with that skirt, it would be like perfect. Um, it's just this gorgeous top that has these sleeves on it. It ties in a bow. It's so cute. It's so pink. It's so spring and girly. I'm obsessed and you could also just wear this with like ripped jeans and really dress it down or you could like totally dress it up um, But I think this is so girly and so cute. I am really excited to style it and then the last Top that I got is this stunning corset. It's like so Thick like it's a really nicely done um, It's like just so nicely made and it just feels like really really good quality and it's just so cute i might bring this down this weekend too i might bring these two shirts along with the dress and the denim and yeah i just think this is so cute and like i said i got these shoes and these wedges i don't think i'm going to bring down the wedges though because it's like a little too cold for open toe feet and then i also just got this set from story i didn't get this off of revolve um but story sent over the set and I actually have this one that they sent over in purple. So now I have it in purple and blue. And this is like, it's so comfy. It's their floral trip dusk sand. And I'm in a size six. And everything fits me perfectly. What am I in the pants? Probably a medium. Size six. Yeah. And everything fits me perfectly. So I love story sets. But um, yeah, that's everything that I got from Revolve. I'm so excited to bring it down this weekend. And I think I'm going to carry the vlog into the weekend. It'll be really fun. It's going to be a fun weekend down at the shore. And I'm excited. So I'm going to pack up and head out. Hi, guys. So it's a couple days later. It's actually Monday now. And I'm just going to put all these clips together and just make 
a long vlog because that's what I feel like doing and I can do anything I want on my channel. I was gonna vlog this weekend, but here's the thing. When I was down there and everyone was getting ready to go to the bars and going out, I was like, you know what? I like don't wanna go to the bars. So I just stayed back and hung out with my parents and had like a really nice beach day that was like so relaxing. Um, we went to like a happy hour, which was much different than the whole bar scene. Then I went out to dinner with my parents and then just went home and like went right to bed. And Sunday I woke up, I went for a run, I ran five miles, it was like amazing. And then I just like relaxed a little bit. And then I drove home yesterday and hung out with my boyfriend at night and um yeah now it's monday so i didn't actually do anything like wild this weekend that would have like required me to like dress up and like look really nice so all the clothes that i brought i didn't even need but as i was getting ready i was like this is like the last thing that i want to do so um i didn't do that <laughs> i didn't go out and i'm really happy that i didn't i'm just gonna fill up my water and go outside it's such a nice day out i'm gonna go outside and make a new vision board I spent my morning this morning being very intentional with my time. It's a Monday and typically on Mondays, I like go, go, go on Mondays. But then I also feel like I waste my Mondays because I just feel like I do little admin work that gets me nowhere in where I want to be. It just... I just do a bunch of important little things that need to get done at this moment, but then I can't even tell you what I was doing la this time last week. You know what I mean? It's like, how important can it be if I don't even remember what I was doing? Like, it's always just these little important admin things. And I'm listening to this book right now called 4,000 Weeks, and it's a book on productivity. And it just says real things about productivity, such as you can't do it all. And... I was like, you know what, that's an interesting perspective and it's true and pretty much the author is kind of amongst other things in a very lengthy way. He just says like, you're always going to feel like you have more tasks to do. So make sure you do the most important ones, which is such simple advice and it's very good advice. It's a great book. I'm listening to it on audio and I'm listening to it on my runs and stuff like that. So today I was like, I'm going to be very intentional with my time. So I woke up today and I have this idea that I have not really been able to get out of my mind and I've been wanting to work through. And I spent the morning today working through this idea and I'm really glad that I did. And now I'm going to put together a vision board boyfriend's mandalorian helmet my vision board that kind of goes along with that and i'm going to set it as my phone background and my laptop background so i'm going to do that outside and i'm really excited and i'm still in my pajamas one of the things that i put on my vision board or that i put on my manifest worksheets was that i wanted to present myself to the universe every day instead of getting ready i'm like okay i'm gonna be presenting myself every day um but i guess i'll start later today because i'm teaching spin tonight and i did just go upstairs i like finished my admin work that i had to do after i did my worksheets and then i was like all right let me just go downstairs refill my water and change and then i went in my closet to go change and i was like i'm sorry like the thought of putting on leggings is just horrendous right now so i didn't do that but I'm going to make it a point in the rest of the vlog to do that. I just have to do a couple things to get in the mindset. Like shave. It's like the winter and it's like, what's the point? So I got to shave. Just start like showing up for myself again. Phys like appearance wise. I don't know why, but when I teach spin at 530, I feel like I don't have a lot of time on Mondays. I don't know. Like the whole day just feels really short. Like right now I'm like, I only have like two hours until I have to like get ready for spin. I don't know, it's very weird. Anyway, I'm gonna vision board. I need to tell you guys about my aura ring because it's so wild. I think I need to do like an official aura ring review once I've had it. A little longer. I've only had it like a month and they really say for the data you need like 60 to 90 days. So I'll do it then. But here's what I will say. I mostly got the aura ring for my period tracking and it is spot on. Takes a temperature. 
tells you when you ovulate, but it tells you after you ovulate. So for my neck cycle, which is actually starting today, I'm gonna use LH strips and track with that along with temperature. I feel like that's gonna be more accurate than just temperature because temperature you kind of find out after the fact. So that's not very helpful. And it's been spot on. So I got my aura ring like a couple days before my last cycle began and my temperature dropped below baseline and then got my period. So I was like, mm, pretty cool. And then today my temperature was, you know, raised, raised, raised and you know, normally because of progesterone and then today I woke up and it was dropped and my cycle began. It's just crazy. I know it's not the aura ring, it's like my body, but being able to track it is crazy. And what I like about the aura ring versus using just like a thermometer, a basal body temperature thermometer that is, you can't just use like a regular one. It has to be specific, I think. Um, but what I like about the aura ring is that it takes your average throughout the night. So even if you wake up at a different time, your temperature it's still gonna be accurate because it's taking the average. And it's also just a nice way to track workouts without looking at a screen. Like when I have my, I only now use like a, a, a screen like Apple Watch or a Garmin when I go for runs, but for Pilates, yoga, walking, spinning, of course, weightlifting, anything like that, I just use my Aura Ring and then track it in the Aura app. But yeah, so far I really like my Aura Ring. Okay, I'm gonna make some lunch. My laptop was dying, so I'm just gonna charge it while I eat and then I'll get back to my vision board. Time for spin. I'm done with my vision boards. They look so cutie. All right, I'm gonna get ready for spin. Um, I can't wait to like give myself like that shower tonight. You know, like the one where you do everything. Can't wait for that. I just feel gross. And I actually normally do on Mondays. And according to my vision board and my manifest worksheets, I'm not showing up like that. Like that's not how I want to present myself to the universe and to other people. It's not how I want to be. I'm cleansing that tonight and I'm going to be very intentional with how I present myself going forward. Yeah, there's just a lot of ways that I want to better show up feeling better already just changing this is what i've been using to tan my body after the showers tan lux unfiltered it's awesome it's like my face looks really puffy today but that's okay if i had to guess it's because my period i'm just putting on drunk elephant drops mixed with my moisturizer which is clinique Moisture Surge Intense. I love this stuff. It feels so good. I want to give a shout out quickly to all of my baby hairs that have just started growing from my head. I have no idea where they came from. Well, you know what? I think I do. When I used to be brunette, I had these little baby hairs all over and they would do exactly this baby hair like that's like those are baby hairs and then i started dyeing my hair and i don't know if they got fried off or what but now they just kind of live like here <laughs> i don't know they're like so weird um but I used to have them and then I stopped having them when I was bleaching my hair. And now I think my hair is like healthy again and growing back and now they're back. So I guess it's a good thing to kind of have them back, you know? And this side looks so much better than this side, cause this, which is weird because this is normally my side, but I'm like preferring this one right now. I'll see you in the car. Gotta go. Hi guys. It's next morning. It's about 7.30. And I'm getting ready for my run. So I have a 25 minute easy run at like a very easy pace. Um, up to 25 minutes, so I'll probably do two miles and then stop whenever I hit two miles, which is typically around 20, 21, 22 minutes. And then I'll do my striders. It's like 58 degrees, so it's not like crazy 
cold. I don't feel like putting on a sports bra. So I'm going to put on this by Paragon, which is like a sports bra tank top. It kind of looks like a sports bra, but it's a little bit longer. And um, it's so comfortable. I kind of just want something loose. Like, I don't really want to wear... Like, this is good. This is like a cropped thing from Nike. I'm going to wear these story leggings that are so comfortable. They're like aligns. It's pretty much what they feel like. Okay, ready to go. Oh yeah, I put these new shelves in since Vlogmas. Isn't this handy? Could use this all December. See y'all after. Run was great. I just got back. Yeah, the run one, great. I can't remember what my verdict on camera was, headphones or no headphones, but I went no headphones and I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know what? I have to unload the dishwasher and I literally hate doing that. So I'm gonna do it right now so that it's done and I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. PGO waves, which we should generalize, to, uh, projects all the all over the thalamus and causes P waves all over. Okay, let's make our chicken. So we're gonna make a white chicken chili recipe. So this is from Instagram. Um, let me say the name of the account. I do this quite a lot. So this is from the account Brooklyn's Bites and it's a creamy Southwest chicken chili. So this recipe is fairly simple. I take that back. It's extremely simple. I always use gloves because I hate touching chicken. Okay, so you're gonna need a crock pot. You can get a crock pot on Amazon. They aren't very expensive and they're worth every penny. You can use them like every day and it's the best. You're gonna take chicken breasts. Um, I always like the thinly cut ones. So however much chicken you want, I'm just gonna use the whole package. So the chicken goes in. And then you're gonna dice an onion and a bell pepper. And the bell pepper. So then after you add in your onions and bell peppers, you're gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes, a can of corn, and a can of black beans. And I know so much is expensive right now at the grocery store. I normally shop at Wegmans, but my Wegmans bill was literally getting to be like a hundred and 50 to $170 a week for two people. Like it was just kind of really crazy. So now I'm shopping at Aldi because it's so much cheaper. Like I get all of my groceries for like $50 for the week, which is really, really good. I try to limit like $75 a week to groceries. Anyway, so if it's like $50 at um, Aldi, then I will get like a good grass fed meat or something at a local grocery store but to bring this all together why I even bring this up is that this recipe is pretty inexpensive because it's just um, onion pepper canned stuff which is always pretty cheap chicken is gonna be the most expensive thing ranch seasoning this was like 49 cents chicken broth is next so you put in about like half a box of chicken broth chicken broth is also not very expensive just put it in so everything is like submerged. And this feeds a lot of people. So, and I have this for leftovers for days. So then you take ranch seasoning, put that right over top. And then garlic powder. I just measure with my heart with the spices. And then cumin and chili powder. Mix that all together. And then you're gonna set this on low. I always do eight hours. And then later, at the end of this eight hours, so let's see what time is it, it's 10, so this will be done by six. So at six, we come back in, we um, ladle out some broth, and well first we shred the chicken, then we ladle out some broth, and then we put the chicken back in, and then we put about half a cup of cream cheese in and it makes it really, really thick and delicious. And then it's done. So it's a really easy recipe. It's a very inexpensive recipe and it's a favorite in our household. And you can serve it with like chips over top and avocado and sour cream. It's really, really good. I don't know if you guys will see the finished product because I'm gonna edit this vlog, but try this out. It's really good and 
I'll link the Instagram down below of where I got the recipe. Hi guys, good morning. So yesterday I like stopped vlogging after I made the chicken and stuff and the chili because my period was just hitting me hard yesterday. Went to Pilates and I came home and I did just work and then once I was done my work, I literally just laid on the couch and was just like a couch potato. My period was just like, it really got me yesterday. So um, down down bad with the cramps yesterday. Now I'm, um, it's a new day, feeling a little bit better, but I did come on to end the vlog because I feel like this is already kind of a long vlog and I want to end it to start another one. I can show you what the chili turned out to look like. It's obviously in leftovers right now because this makes, like I'm not kidding, it makes so much. So this is leftovers, um, but it's so good. I'm gonna have it probably for lunch, honestly, and dinner tonight. Have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, anything that I can link in this video, I'll have below, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.